Hello everybody, welcome back to Chibi Robo. Last time we basically beat the game. We defeated the final boss, the Queen Spider, and got the family back together. Sweet! We now have everything we need in order to revive Giga Robo. However, I'm gonna at least wait till the daytime to do that because it's much better. Anyhow, we still have a couple more stickers to get. So this is the one we get for the main quest. We still have to give the last frog ring back to Jenny. We have the Drake Red Crest and Sophie stickers. Ah, yes. We got some more stuff to do, don't we? Alright. Very first thing I'm gonna do is head off to the foyer and get that love letter. Hello, Space Hunter Robo! So, brilliant work, and I was a witness to it all! That was a weird way to say work. Enough! Leave such things aside for now! Let us relax and with the watching of the television! Hurry or we'll miss the special technique, the Great Twin Blizzard! By the frozen rings of Saturn! Curses and blast, we missed it! And now we have to watch the news! Well, that's the way the asteroid crumbles! Space Hunter Code Part 9! Monitor the pulse of society! Oh ho, it begins! Good evening, I'm Ron Brookjaw for Faux News. Our country has recently been consumed by the white hot fires of Chibi-Robo-Mania. And whether you know it or not, this passion casts a dark shadow on our everyday life. We now go live to Sunny Merriweather. Sunny? Ron, I'm coming to you live from in front of the nuclear power plant. This new Chibi-Robo-Mania brings with it more than clean floors and clutter-free free lives. And also placing a severe de demand on the local power supply. Sources tell Faux News that if Chibi Robos continue to fly off the shelves, power demand will outstrip supply and send the region into a panic and of unfathomable proportions. We predict rioting, looting, and perhaps the end of civilization as we know it. Ron? A dire prediction indeed. Thank you, Sonny. Fellow citizens, continued usage of Chibi Robos appears both dangerous and foolhardy. What will you do? No, that's not true! That's impossible! Space Hunter Chibi Robo, a threat! It just can't be! No! Blast! I thought Chibi Robo had defeated the nectar driven fiend! But if this is true, have I no choice? Must I actually defeat Space Hunter Robo in Mortal Kombat? If justice defeats justice, is it justice? Oh, the humanity! The mind-bending conundrum! The very pain of life itself! Space Hunter Drake Red Crest! Space Hunter Robo, Drake Red Crest needs to be alone for a while. I'm sorry. As you wish. Well, the fiends. Yeah, I forgot about this part of the plot. Yeah. <laughs> Appear apparently, like, everyone's so lazy that they're just getting advanced for Roombas known as Chibi Robos. And apparently, people are using too much electricity now. We gotta stop. Because that's what ha caused the Giga Robos to be decommissioned as well. Alright, heading off to the foyer to pick up the love letter that Sophie dropped. There we go. Yeah, from the top step that you can still fly down from, that's where you fly down, and we can grab the love letter. Hopefully finish off the side quest. Chibi Robo! Did you find another letter? Would you like me to read it for you? I still think it's rude to read people's private mail. That's very noble of you. I'm touched. I just gave you five happy points. You got five moolah. Spread the happiness. But I'm still curious, so let's read it anyway. Ahem. Dearly beloved. Look, look, look. Look at me. Feel, feel, feel. Feel me. Why do you pretend not to see me? I'm right beside you. Why do you pretend not to hear me? My heart screams out for you. Justice. Justice! Oh, how I despise that word. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mrs. Sanderson normally hides her emotions, but this 
water is so full of passion. Oh! But I don't know what all that justice stuff was about. Playing it cool and ignoring her advances must be driving her wild. I think a flower would make a nice reply. So Telly thinks Mrs. Sanderson is sending him love letters. That's, um, that's not good. <laughs> Mrs. Sanderson is now happily married again. She used to be unhappily married, but now she's happily married. So, sorry, Telly, but you're gonna have to... <laughs> You're gonna have to hold off on that. Like, that's that's not okay. Don't be a homewrecker. I believe the caterpillar monster is up here. I can see her diary, I believe. Thunk on it, the great Pico is still not in the fishbowl. Oh dear, I've dropped it again! <laughs> yeah, I'm, this is getting old, Sophie. I'm not trying to peek at your diary. Oh, it's you, Chibi Robo. Did you hear? Oh, of course you did. Yes, it's true. I lost it again. Please find it before anyone else does. If you find it, could you please return it to me? Thank you. Oh, maybe you already... Did you happen to find a love letter? Yes. I still don't know how to trigger this sticker. Wait, I almost gave her the frog ring. No, here's the letter. That's it, that's it, that's it! Oh, we are! Sophie just gave you Freddy for happy points. Oh, yeah, she can, she's very generous with the money. Spread the happiness. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so glad. So you didn't open it, did you? We did. Sophie just gave you five happy points. And you got a hundred more. Spread the happiness. Ah, cow rude. How come she gave me free stuff for that then? You found it. Now I just need to hand it over. I'm going to sneak into the living room later. This. Oh hey, it's Primopule. He's walking around now. Actually, I, I wanna. I wanna talk to Primopule. Even though he's very out of the way. Not much else I have to do at night. So. Hello, Primopule. How do you do? You let me out of the treasure chest, no? I did. Why does he talk so slow? I thought so, thanks so much. I hope we'll be friends. His accent just changed three times in the span of like two sentences. Promopule just gave you 19 happy points, spread the happiness. If we become friends, while I'm in toy form, I might let you kiss me. Um, I'm straight, so no. Let's get out of here. Promopiable is trying to kiss me. Also, I'm a robot, so... I believe if we enter the Chibi house and leave again, Sophie should come out and try to give the letter to Drake Redcrest. At least I'm hoping that's the case. There she is! I can't see my dear Drake today! I even brought this letter. I can't look at Drake all day long, but I'm too scared to actually give him the letter. Oh wait, I think I remember. <laughs> you want to see something really scary? Yeah! Oh wow, well, what was I doing? How embarrassing. It's too bad Drake Redcrest wasn't here. He would have heard my scream and come rushing to my rescue. He is here, he's just on a couch in deep thought. Oh, I don't think my poor heart could stand it if that actually happened. 
I'll be Drake Redcrest. Oh, is this the same dialogue every time? Yeah. <laughs> You're much smaller than me. Is that you? No. You can't fool me. Drake is much too manly to be so small. Don't startle me like that. Yeah, she's a, she's getting smarter now. Okay. Well, if Drake was actually like not catatonic right now, then we could have gotten the Sophie sticker by scaring her. Oh well, I guess we'll that'll have to wait till later. Alright, other thing we can do tonight is the legendary nectar flower that we planted in the past should be grown now. So let's go to the parents' room, and I believe now the bed the parents' bedroom door will always just be killed, cracked open. Sure enough, much easier to enter the bedroom now. And now the mom and dad are sleeping in the same bed again. Hooray! We did it, Chibi Robo. We did it. We are the hero that America needs, but doesn't deserve. Oh. There's still more info to fill. Aw, oh, that's cute. The family's together again. Gee, it's good to be together again. Here's the legendary flower. The legendary nectar. Hmm. So now if we give this to sunshine, something good is going to happen. Oh! Gee, Robo, there's still spiders left! Just in case you blew all of your scrap on something else. Wow, they weren't very generous with the scrap now, were they? Yeah, Spidor still keep spawning out of nowhere somehow, even after you defeat the Queen Spidor. Whatever. Just in case you need a little extra scrap. I'm happy for, I'm happy for you two, but you've, not, you've gotta stop s scarfing down Jolly Ranchers everywhere. Hey, Sunshine, I got a surprise for you. <laughs> it's the Legendary Nectar. This is going to go over well. Oh, what's this? Ten years ago, a flower bloomed in this house. An amazing flower, one of legend. This smooth texture. This overwhelming glorious sweetness. Sweet enough even for a sweetie bear. This sparkling golden color. This is definitely some real good stuff. I can't help it. I think I'm gonna wet myself. I guess I already did. What? Is this one of those, like, weird dolls that, like, actually wets diapers? That, like, is like, why did anybody ever make those? I, apparently. Thank you, dear sweet Chibi Robo. I can die a happy bear. I'm so happy I think I'm gonna go insane. I'm gonna melt. Sunshine just gave you 66 happy points. Spread the happiness. Oh! You got the sunshine sticker. You really are amazing, Chibi Robo. Thanks, you Chibi Robo. I'm free from that nectar shaped monkey on my back. I'm just gonna take it one day at a time. Look at oh, the way that 
she's walking is really weird. Mm. <laughs> is something wrong? Legendary ten year flower nectar with with bear, stuffed bear pee? Yep. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. And unless I'm mistaken, I think that's like literally everything that we can do for this night. So because we got the magic of pajamas. Oh. The magic of pajamas. Chimirello, I know you're working hard, but it's time for a break! That's fine. Oh! Good morning! Your trivia ranking is still three. In order to get the next bonus better, you need 486 more happy points. While you're here, Chibiro, would you like to save? No, because I'm going to continue. We're doing two days today, everybody. Off to the living room. Jenny's not here. Actually, I think everybody's now gonna be in the kitchen. Out of the fa out of the main family, anyways. Oh, one thing we should do. We're gonna go into the backyard because a my flowers should have grown by now, and b hopefully we can find a dog bone in the backyard because we're gonna need one of those in order to get a sticker. Actually, two stickers. And everything, people are such slobs. So there, yeah, there's Tao's chewing on a blue block. And we really need to give him a dog bone. But I don't see one anywhere, dog on it. Drake Redcrest, what are you doing out here? Uh. Silence! I found a way to defeat them! But now is not the time, we wait quietly until nightfall. They will surely come! They? Okay. Here we go! We got the flowers. Oh, they're so pretty. Do you want to give this flower to Mrs. Sanderson as a gift to you? Uh... I kind of wanted to just pick it up. What? You don't?! Oh, is that the only thing I can do with them? Yes, yeah, so let's give it as a gift to Mrs. Sanderson. Oh, is that just what we do of all of them? Do you want to give this flower as a gift to Mrs. Sanderson as well? Yeah. Oh, by the way, there's a DS game called Chibi Robo Park Patrol where basically the whole point of the game is to just grow flowers. Because that's like your only way of making happy points, really. Park Patrol is fun, but nowhere near to the same level as this game. Rats. No dog bone. I really needed a dog bone in order to get, because that's the last block we need. Tao has it. Sure enough, we've got the mom at the table, we got Jenny at the table, or we got the dad at the stove! Oh, this is great! This is really great. Hey, Dad! What's up? Chibi Romo, thanks to you, that huge spider is history! Woo! And my wife's finally in a good mood again! We're gonna live happily ever after! But I was the one who started all this trouble in the first place. Time for a new leaf! From now on, I'm gonna cook and clean and help out! Yes! Talk about character development! This is, this is such a good game! <laughs> it's too bad I lost my wedding. <laughs> oh, that's right. This guy dropped it down the drain, Chibi Robo. Can you get it? We got it, and we literally can't give it back to him. 
<laughs> oh, by the way, aren't you an industrious bot, Chibi Rubble? I wake up and the place is spotless. No, it wasn't. There was dirt everywhere. I only just now cleaned it up. I won't be using that toothbrush ever again, but if you're using it to clean, I'm fine with it. You just got 10 happy points for taking someone's toothbrush. <laughs> Spread the happiness. What in the Ch -ch Chibi Rubble? That's my wedding ring. Oh, yeah, we can finally give it back to him. Dad's wedding ring. Yes, that is it! The date of our anniversary is engraved on the inside. I was so worried when I lost it. I used that date for all my passwords. Man, thanks, Chibi Robo. Now I can actually walk back into my computer again. I forgot. <laughs> Dad just gave you 100 happy points. That was delayed. Yeah, you literally can't give the wedding ring back to him until after you defeat the final boss. You got 200 moolah! Spread the happiness! Now, oh, here's a question. Oh, no. Because the, the, the date there is the password. The date on the wedding gift is the password to reactivate Gigarobo. So I think he can lose the wedding ring again if you forgot the password, but I can always just look it up. I'm so glad I got my wedding band back. I think things will be better from now on. Yes, the whole family? What was I talking about? Oh well, let's have some burgers. Okay, I would love to. Do you need help with that? <laughs> Miss Bobby <Aaron. laughs> Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can't help make burgers. <laughs> oh well, she's dangerous. <laughs> hey, mom. Oh, and Jenny's not. Nah, Jenny's kneeling. Who kneels on a chair for for like dinner? Jenny's dad has been helping me out around the house since that day. She doesn't even call him by his name. Or like my husband, it's always Jenny's dad or Jenny's mom. <laughs> He's even making the meals now. It's been a huge help. What's that lovely scent? Do you have a flower? Yeah. <laughs> Twig, no. Here's a white flower. What's this? For me? Really? I'm so happy. Hey, Chibi Ro, are you trying to steal my wife from me? That's not nice. Thank you, Chiba. Well, I'll just give you six happy points. And you got 10 moolah! Spread the happiness! Not really worth it, just for the price of the seat, though. <laughs> now doesn't that look pretty? Thank you. Oh, it's on her dress, it's on her dress now, I think. <laughs> but keep that between you and me. But as long as Jenny's dad is unemployed, we'll be in financial trouble. I just remembered a dream I had where you were cleaning up around the house and you're not moving your mouth. There you are. Whenever I have that dream, the house just seems to sparkle. Thank you, Chibo. I just got more happy points for just talking to the mom than I did for giving her a flower, so the flowers just are not worth it. I just love how the dad was like, Oh yeah, I forgot about the wedding ring until my wife is back in this until my wife is back in with the family. Hey, Jenny. What's up? Those weird spider thingies are gone. Yay, Chibi Robo. And now Mom's all happy, too. See, Jenny? You can speak just fine. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. No, I can't ribbit. Say, um, it looks like you have something there. Can I have it? Jenny? Here's the last frog ring. Thank you very much. Jenny just gave me 33 happy points. You got 50 moolah. Spread the happiness. You found them all? She took off the hat! The evil frog wizard put a nasty curse on me. But thanks to you, I've turned back into a human. Yay! J Jenny? What's this? Oh, um... Hey! Yeah? What's the matter, honey? Jenny. Mm hmm? 
What's this we have here? Ah, Jenny! You took off the frog of frog hat? <laughs> Thank you for breaking the curse, Chibi. Jenny just gave you 100 happy points! Spread the happiness! Oh! You got the frog ring sticker! You really are amazing, Chibi Robo! How do I look without the hat? You look good! Chibi! <laughs> Blank just gave you 20 happy points! Don't know who he is, but alright! He's happy you complimented Jenny! Spread the happiness! Oh, okay. Maybe I'll stay like this for a little bit. So it's it's implied that she was pretending to be a frog. A, partly just it because it was fun for her, and also to cope with her parents not getting along very well. <laughs> the dad's like, all right, I think this is how I <laughs> see here. <laughs> What is the dad doing? <laughs> Alright everybody, here on our open house, we have the stove right here. Isn't it a beauty? Comes with a free kettle. Order now for $19.95, plus shipping and handling. But if you call the number on the screen right now, we'll also throw in a free toaster. This is great. <laughs> the dad got a new job in sales. I can see the dad as a salesman. You know you just have to have this product. Drake Redcrest underwear is the best. Ribbit, please no. Oh, evil frog wizard. Chibi Robo and I are under the evil frog wizard spell again. Darn it, Jenny! <laughs> Maybe now she's doing it just so she can have this special bond with Chibi Robo. So now Jenny hid all ten of the frog rings in the house again, and they're in different spots this time. So it can be a fun little uh, secondary collect the bond if you care. <laughs> All right, what else can we do? I don't think there's really anything. Well, let's go back to Jenny's room. Eventually, there reaches a point where Mort and Princess Pitts have new dialogue, and it's kind of cool. Also, Sunshine, I think, should have new dialogue as well, now that we've cured her of her honey <laughs> nectar addiction. This game is just so bizarro. I love it. There really is no other game like Chibi Robo. Hi, Spidors. Let's be friends instead. That's what the dad would want. Sup, everybody? What the heck? Mort and Princess Pitts just ate, like, another entire packet of Jolly Ranchers in the span of about a few hours. Actually, I've done that before, too. There we go! Oh, Chibi Robo! Do you have a moment? Uh, yep. I want to introduce you to someone. Right, dear? Yes. Come out! Come on out! <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> I have a lot of questions right now. Um, what? So these are their kids. Did they have biologically have kids? Cause they're toys. That really doesn't make sense. Or are these just mini action figures that the parents bought just yesterday? Or are these, are these mini action figures that the parents bought a while ago and they're just old? They, they're out of their box. I'm very confused. I want to introduce you to both of them. You're the bandage boy, right? Introduce yourself properly. Introduce. I'm Vinny Mort. Nice to meet you. Hello. My name is Lil Pitts. I like dried flowers. Fresh flowers are gross. This is very weird. Chibi Robo. I'm so glad you can meet them. And now he's basically just scaring her. Yeah, this is very weird. So there's literally little, 
baby versions of both of them. It's implied that they're their children. I mean, it makes sense that they're their children, but holy cow. In the span of like literally like four days, this happens. Wow. I, I, I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. We're playing Beauty and the Beast. That's nice. Well, um, yeah, so that's... Because <laughs> the first... Well, I won't spoil it. I'll, 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 I'll talk, talk about that when the time is right. But I wanted you guys to see them before we revive King of Robo. Because otherwise you'll be very confused. Much like I was when I first... Uh, played the game. Where did Sunshine go? Also, where did the music go? Oh, there's Sunshine. Also, the game is starting to lag a couple of times. Which I've never seen it do before. Hey, Sunshine. Hey, girl. Thanks to you, Chibi Robo. I feel great all the time now. Yay! Chibi Robo has single-handedly saved the universe. And every single person in this family who had problems, Chibi Robo was just like... Bruh, communicate more. Oh, that's right. I should probably talk to my wife about my habits. Thanks, Chibi Robo. You got 10,000 happy points. You're number one in the TV rankings. <laughs> you got a total of 45 happy points and you got 450 blue on. I just wish Moolah could be used for something now other than buying flower seeds. That's like, and gambling. That's literally the only reason to gamble now. Or to gamble now. That's the only reason to have money now. Yeah, Frogring is on a pedestal over there. Oh yeah, I haven't talked to the Free Rangers since, well, ever. <laughs> ever since Memphis came back. Sup, Sarge? Oh, you're gonna kill my voice. Commander Chibi Robo, thanks to you, we have achieved complete victory! Say something, Private Memphis! Thank you, sir. We won't forget what you did for us! Hurrah! To thank you for your brave service, you're authorized to train with us anytime! We'll do any training regiment you want! Just say the word. And don't be a stranger! Hoorah! So we do spy training, hand drill training, jungle training, the waterfall training, tower defense training. Uh, no, I'm good on over training. Don't be such a ditty! Oh, well, I guess he's not that nice. I meant it. I just felt bad that Sarge and the guys were so worried about me. What a trooper. What a ranger. Good on you, Memphis. You're great. Uh, whoops. Wrong way. Nobody's here. Oh, hang on. Before we revive Giga Robo. I can't let him see the house in such a decrepit state. Hey, buddy. We fully charged your battery and we've had this inside of us for a while. And here's your left leg. Good, buddy. Now we have to activate him with this computer here. We have to enter the password. The password is the wedding d date on the wedding ring, which, for those of you who forgot, is. There you go, buddy.
Chibi Robo! It's almost time! It's almost time! Yarr! Look who it all is! Oh, it's weird seeing the great Pico walk. Looks like he's just wearing underwear. <laughs> Hello, Captain Plankbeard! Ahoy there, QB! What be you doing? By Grog Barrel's flaming blade! He's back! G -g 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 Giga Robo! You've brought him back! Yep. <laughs> he said thank you. Chibi Robo! Kikarobo saying thank you! Aw, oh, that's nice of him. Kikarobo just gave you 300 happy points! How is it that the main quest of the game only gives you 300 happy points at the end, but opening all the chibi doors gives you a thousand? <laughs> Spread the happiness! Oh! You got the Kikarobo sticker! I can hardly believe it! You really activated Kikarobo! That's the sticker you get at the end of the game. <laughs> You're too much, Chibi Robo! I'm going to tell the other toys about this big news! See you later, Gigaromo! Everyone's so happy! Blow me down and batten me hatches! I'm the happiest pirate alive, yar! <laughs> what, what are you doing to Chibi Robo, matey? Oh, this is so cute. Yar, har, har! We'll have to call you Giga Chibi Robo! And I funded it all out of my own pocket. I love this first person view of how Giga Robo sees the world. Oh, I forgot to pick up the trash on the stairs. Whoops. Giga Robo's like, man, what a slob. You're supposed to be a cleaning robot. You got the right of it, me hearty. Backwater is no place for the likes of a sailor such as he. Gigarobo! Back to the foyer! You'd think after the first three. Enemy assault! Lock and load! Don't worry, Kika Rumble, I've got a mug. <laughs> It'll protect me. <laughs> I wish the mug was used for more. Sweet Bazooka Casserole! Is that Giga Rumble? You moron! Huh? Watch it, soldier! Don't point that thing at me! Does that look like an enemy to you? Company, salute! Oh wow! I love how everyone just adores Giga Robo. And Chibi Robo, too. We're just so nice. Spaceships flying in the background. Yeah, first time I ever saw Lil Pits and Mini Mart was right here. I'm like, who the what the heck is happening here? <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> well, what do you know? Oh, it's like a father and son. Where's my piggyback ride? Oh, I just realized Funky Phil's not gonna join in here, is he? Oh, but Dinah's feeling better now, and she's got the little fillies with the... Uh, uh, not the fillies, she's got Vegas with her. He sure is a small one! 
Keep on rocking, big man! Thanks, Dinah. The living room. <laughs> that starts the action figure. Good evening, citizens. I'm Ron Brookjar for Faux News. Our country has recently been consumed by the white hot fires of Chibiro Bohemia. <laughs> it's this, this was on that night. Whether you know it or not, this passion casts a dark shadow on our everyday life. We now go live to Sunny Merriweather. Sunny, maybe this is just fake news. Ron, I'm coming to you live from in front of the nuclear power plant. The new, this new Chibiro Bohemia brings with it more than clean floors and clutter-free lives. It also is placing a severe demand on the local power supply. Sources tell phone news that if Chibi Robos continue to fly off the shelves, power demand will outstrip supply and send the region into a panic of unfathomable proportions. Why is that so hard for me to say? We predict rioting, looting, and perhaps the end of civilization as we know it. Ron? A diamond prediction indeed. Thank you, Sonny. Fellow citizens, continued usage of a Chibi Robo appears both dangerous and foolhardy. What will you do? Hmm, what would you do, honey? I'd turn into Drake Redcrest and save the world, of course! Abnormal activity detected! Tonight we ride! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest away! <laughs> and he's still the dad we know and love. My husband is such a geek- OH MY GOSH! Kikorobo! I haven't seen you in such a long time! Jenny's happy to see him. And she's right again. Red Ribbit. The dad's just like, oh, no, what, what, what? <laughs> What's wrong with you? You reactivated him, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, uh, this still happens if you do it at night, but it makes no sense that the whole family is up in the middle of the night watching TV. <laughs> so, whatever. Oh, for Pete's sake. He didn't reactivate Kigurobo, we did! The dad was responsible enough to know that 10,000 Mula to bowl on a single use of Gigarub was just insane. Off to the backyard. Oh hey, the aliens are coming back. They get to see their friend again. Never get tired of that music. Oh, they're still sick, though. Friend! Friend! Thank you for that time! It was a long time ago! We saw this from his memories. Ship crash! Friend! Nice catch! Friend! Savior! Thank you! Thank you! We offered thank you gift! Grant any two wishes! Friend first wish! I want to give soul to toys! We give ball of light! Then, friends, friends, move! Friend kind! This is how all the toys come to life. Good guy! Good guy! Friend second wish! For Sanderson's and Giga Robo's in the world! Give body that does not need energy! But no more balls of light in spaceship! No more balls of light in spaceship! We return to our home! And we bring back Ball of Light again! Aliens never break promise! Aliens never lie! Good people! 
Now friend will live forever. Friend, sit, sit. Jenny's room has a window? I don't remember that. This is why they were so upset Gigoro died, because they couldn't keep their promise. Because he got deactivated before they could bring him the second ball of light. He's alive, folks. Don't worry. People don't die in this game. They just get big boo-boos. Good! It is done! Friend no need energy! Friend have eternal battery now! Chibi Robo Friend too! Friend no need energy! Friend have eternal battery! Stab us in the back and kill us. No, nope, just kidding. Chibirobo! Are you alright? Yep, better than that. Everyone, don't panic! I've got it under control! Chibirobo and Gigarobo aren't broken! It out. So fun fa well, not actually confirmed, but heavily implied. Uh, can't shake this on Earth, bad air! You can see they, like, turn into these shadowy octopus veins. That's implied to be their real form, and that they take on the form of basically Chibi-Robo to look more like their friend. It's really, you know, cute. Earth Icky, return home! Man, everything just comes together so well in this game. What's wrong? I saw aliens land and all this crazy stuff happened. What just happened? Giga Robo? You're out of juice? Infinity? You don't need energy anymore? You too, Chibi Robo? <laughs> Great Gallop and Gamma Rays! <laughs> and that's Chibi Robo. Oh, I know, look, they're all hugging Giga Robo. This is such a good game. Oh my gosh. You can see now what I said. Like, it's. It's got kind of a serious story, but it's really good. Really quirky, just super fun to play. Also, what a guy Giga Robo is. He gets two wishes. His first wish is to give life to the toys. Not his second wish. He was willing to wait to get the infinite battery. He, he didn't want to wait for them to be alive, though. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, and they're fixing him up because he was all bent and out of shape. Aw. <laughs> and they have all the welding masks. Even one for the dog. 
Yeah, I seriously can't recommend this game enough. And again, there are many cheap Robo games out there, but no cheap Robo game plays the same as the others. And here they are, everyone's just plugging into Gigaro all the cheap Robos around the world and giving them infinite battery too. So that way humans continue to be lazy. <laughs> yeah, but like I've played this cheap Robo in Park Patrol for the DS. Two fun games. Park Patrol's nowhere near as good. <laughs> and they're getting interviewed. <laughs> Oh, this is so sweet. Again, what a super weird game. Absolutely bizarre, but so good. <laughs> Great job. I want them to make another cheapy robo like this one, though. You explore a giant house, you have all the different tools of cleaning up, but then you also have like the overarching story and a bunch of side stories. Because Park Patrol has like five characters, maybe. And most of them are very bland. There's like Chibi Robo instead of Telly, you have like this worm thing called Chet. Well, actually, yeah, I really like Chet. But then, like, that's pretty much it. And then there's, like, the villain. And then apart from that, it's, like, just all these minor characters. Still fun, but completely different game and nowhere near as good as this one. Oh! Good morning! Let's adjust your happy point total. We're looking pretty good at this rate. Making number one won't be any problem at all. Just keep doing what you're doing, Chibi Robo. Here are your results! Your achievement ranking has gone from three to one! To celebrate, you're making number one! Citrusoft has sent you a special gift a Super Chibi Robo costume! It's the final costume we get at last! It's the Super Chibi Robo suit, which is by far the stupidest suit in the entire game. Literally, okay, literally the only change is that we get this S sticker on us. Whoa, would you look at that? Look at that! You finally made it! Congratulations, Super Chibi Robo! Now the girl bots won't be able to leave you alone! <laughs> this is it! Your first day at Super Chibi Robo! Oh, we're so proud that it went really fast! Let's go! I'm just shooting, I'm just shooting fireworks everywhere! Oh, you're here with your safe? Yes. So that's it for the main version of the Let's Play. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, Super Chibi Robo Suit is the worst suit. It literally, all it does is add the S. It's now your default suit. When you talk to people, they're just like, wow, you're Super Chibi Robo, that's cool. And your pose is the longest, most annoying pose ever, where you're just like, do, 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 like spin around in a circle for like a solid 15 seconds. And then people are like, wow. <laughs> you literally have to remove the suit now if you want to actually talk to people normally. It's great. <laughs> Anyhow. Again, can't recommend this game enough. Thank you all so much for watching and following this Let's Play. It's still not over. There will be one or two bonus videos where I cover getting the last stickers. And after that, we'll be on to a new Let's Play. And I hope you tune in for those bonus episodes. And again, just thank you so much, everybody. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.